Hi, this is Dan Thompson. Have you ever played a game where you knew the odds were stacked against you? Uh, putting money into a slot machine seems to come to mind. Every once in a while there's a winner, but for the rest of those who try, they get to watch their money go bye-bye. So here's a question. Do you think if the IRS were to set up a system that they would rig it so that they would lose? No, I don't think so either. See, they know the odds. They have the statistics. They know that the odds are in their favor when it comes to retirement plans. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about deferring your taxes in a retirement plan. The only way to win is to put your money into a retirement plan at a higher tax bracket than when you take it out. That's it. Pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. There's no other way to win. You take money out at a higher or equal rate as when you put it in, you lose. See, the IRS realizes that, that realizes that there may be a few who defer their taxes at a higher bracket than when they take it out. And they're willing to take that risk because the realization is that most people are in the same or a higher tax bracket when they finally take out their money. When I ask CPAs if people are retiring in lower tax brackets than when they were working, the answer is consistently no. In other words, when you retire, there's a good chance that you'll remain in the same tax bracket you were in while you were working. And in many cases, maybe even higher. I mean, if I were to ask you, do you think tax rates are going to stay the same, go up or go down, what would you say? I typically hear go up. Besides our government's insatiable appetite for tax revenue to spend, our debt's ever increasing as well. That can directly affect you and me. But there are a few additional reasons why you may never be in a lower tax bracket than you are today. See, when you're younger and working, there are several ways to reduce your taxable income and maybe even stay in a lower tax bracket. One way is to have children. They are a nice deduction. Another is to have a home mortgage where you get to deduct the interest that you're paying. Another way might be to have a business where you have deductions and expenses that can help relieve some of the tax burden. For many, by the time retirement rolls around, most of those things, most of those deductions are gone. This means 100% of your income is now being taxed with no way to get deductions. If you're fortunate enough to have a pension, that's taxed. If you have rental or dividend income, that's taxed. If you, have, if you take distributions from your 401k, your IRA, or any other retirement plan, that's taxed. And to make matters worse, if you have an above average income, part or all your social security can be taxed as well. It's hard to get out of taxes when you're retired. Again, no mortgage, no children, no business. Oh, and by the way, if you think municipal bonds are gonna save you, then you need to understand that the income from mutual from muni bonds is added back in to calculate if your social security is gonna be taxed. Yep, Uncle Sam has pretty much got you covered. Now you can see why it's not unusual for someone who's retiring to be in about the same tax bracket they were in when they were working. Do you remember the old commercial uh, for Fram oil filters? There's this you know greasy mechanic and he's ready to work on your car and he says something like, uh, you can pay me now or you can pay me later. Well, the message was, it might be cheaper to pay me now than to pay me later. When I think of where tax rates were back in the day and where they could be heading, it may be cheaper to pay them now. You might consider a balanced plan and one that many CPAs recommend, and that is to have some tax deferred money, have some money that's already been taxed and working for you elsewhere in a tax-free environment. And my favorite, of course, is to have money that's already been taxed, but it's in a tax-free vehicle that can produce tax-free income. Oh, and tax-free income that will not get added back in to calculate the potential tax for your social security. 
As with everything, check out your options. You may find, especially if you, if you plan on making more in the years to come, that getting rid of the tax now could be a more efficient way to manage your taxes in the future. Remember, the taxes aren't going away just because you deferred them. They are simply postponed, and the tax calculation is postponed as well. Well, this is Dan Thompson, and if you have any questions, please email me, and I'll get them answered just as quick as I can. Take care.